Time now is 8.22. A man now who saved hundreds of Jewish children from the Nazis during the Second World War. Sir Nicholas Winton arranged for trains to carry children away from occupied Prague to safety in Britain. Sir Nicholas sadly passed away yesterday at the age of 106, but his actions live on through the children he helped save. This is the moment he was reunited with some of them. Can I ask, is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up, please? Mr Winton, would you like to turn round? You all had the chance to meet these people properly after the programme. In the meantime, Mr Winton, on behalf of all of them, thank you very much indeed. Somebody wrote and said they wanted a girl of seven. We sent them a picture of seven girls of about seven and said, choose one. Not the kind of way one would normally transact human, but it worked very well. It was quick. We can talk now to Karen Pollock from the Holocaust Educational Trust. Karen, thank you very much for joining us this morning. And you met um, Sir Nicholas Winton, and this was a man who really didn't want a fuss made about something extraordinary that he did. Absolutely. I mean, I have to say, that clip from That's Life, I watched that earlier and last night, and it's the most moving sort of feeling, isn't it, to see that he saved those lives and how touching it was to see them all stand up and Vera Gissing next to him holding his hand. Um, he did a remarkable thing and for whatever reason he was a modest man and didn't want the recognition for it. And all the more I suppose that we make sure that we remember what he did. Absolutely. You know, I read something that he said, uh, you know, nothing, I've always thought nothing is impossible. He just thought there are these young children whose lives are at risk and I'm going to do something about it. And he really, for me and for us at the Holocaust Educational Trust, when we're teaching young people all the time about the horror of the Holocaust, he's an example of that glimmer of hope and light from that dark subject, that dark chapter in our history, but also a real role model about what it really means to stand up against injustice. And Karen, he didn't simply forget about what he did. He kept in contact, didn't he, with, with many of the children whose lives he saved? Indeed. Um, they're known now as Nikki's children, and he was often reunited with them. And certainly they and their children and their grandchildren are absolutely indebted to him because it's without doubt that without his actions, they would have been sent to Auschwitz as their parents and grandparents and wider families were. And for anyone who wasn't familiar with Sir Nicholas Winton's story, how should we remember him? You know, I think we're at a really crucial juncture, 70 years after the Holocaust, when eyewitnesses are passing away um, and when they're fewer and frailer, we have a real responsibility to make sure people know what happened. And Sir Nicholas Winton was one of those people from that past. Karen Pollock from the Holocaust Educational Trust, thank you very much for joining us to remember Sir Nicholas Winton. Time now, 8.26, Victoria Derbyshire is on at 9.15 this morning on BBC Two, and we can say good morning to Victoria now. Uh, good morning, and on the subject of Sir Nicholas, we're going to talk to one of the Jewish women who, age nine, was rescued by him from Prague. Also live, truckers still stuck on either side of the channel for a fourth day because of that industrial action by French workers. Join us straight after breakfast, 9.15, BBC Two, the news channel and online. Victoria, thank you very much. It's time to get the news, the travel, the weather, where you are. We'll see you soon.